Lionel Messi's dribbling is a science that he uses at football pitch, and he does it extremely well. Take a look at that clip. 2015 Copa del Rey final. Lionel Messi, after receiving a ball just past the midfield, goes from 0 to 19.5 miles an hour in just 2.7 seconds. That's an acceleration on par with some professional track athletes, and Messi does it with the ball at his feet. But when these three defenders try to trap him up on the sideline, Messi begins to decelerate, which allows him to make three short control touches, effectively beating players in only 1.2 seconds. As he enters the box, Messi uses inside-out move to open up 5 feet of space, which allows for 48 miles an hour near post shot and scoring a goal. It's a brilliant run for Messi. Will he go all the way? How did he do that by using signs? We're gonna find out. Messi's dribbling skills didn't come from any exercises or drills. It came from playing the football for years and having fun with it since a young age. Like that, Messi built the muscle memory which makes defending him near to impossible. Even Thierry Henry couldn't describe it. We're playing like a, a, a 7v7. So if he has to go all the way, he has to pass Yaya Toure, Busquets, Puyol or Rafa Marquez, whoever is playing. Mm. For the team. This is what I'm One nil. To train these muscles, Messi uses these science techniques. Messi is famous for his short stature. His height is only 1 meter and 70 centimeters. These results are considered below the average person. And this is what makes him better than others. Imagine a tall stack of blocks and a short block. Which stack do you think is harder to tip over? Of course the first one. And this is because of center of gravity. This is like the spot inside the object where it feels like all the weight is concentrated. The lower the center of gravity, the closer it is to the ground. Therefore, the harder it gets to fall over and easier to keep balance. So, according to Messi's height and the shape of his body, he has a low center of gravity, making him easy to keep balance and to not fall over when he got pushed. Lionel Messi has also incredible agility. The clip I just showed you wouldn't be existed if Messi had an agility. So, it helps players stay on the feet and move quickly and footballers with short height like Messi can master it easier compared to taller players and this allows him to be perfect on the field and easily go through one, two or three defenders beating them with fake movements. And these fake movements are called body feint. And this is the second science technique that made him the best football player in the world. Messi drops his shoulder and plants a foot where defender is going and then Messi changes direction, impossible for defender to come back. Messi is also known to be a great sprinter. In his prime, he was considered one of the 10 fastest football players in the world. It's because of stride length of short players is naturally smaller than others. They benefit from speed of movement. If Messi does 4 or 5 steps in 1 second while running, Ronaldo for example takes 3 steps because of his longer legs. This structure gives Messi chance to change direction very quickly and close ball control at maximum speed, as tall players have to slow down, do small steps to avoid losing a ball. But Messi's science secret wouldn't work so well without this technique which I will tell you about now. Messi's acceleration is unmatched. He uses acceleration all the time and he does it effectively. But how? Imagine that you're just walking it outside and just suddenly you see a homeless drunk person started running after you. Of course you will also begin to run away from him, but in order to completely get rid of that person, you decided to confuse him, shake his brain. And to do this, you run, slow down right away, accelerate again, slow down again. So like that, you break his ankle and make him fall to the floor. And this is exactly how Messi does it. He accelerates immediately after slowing down. And defenders can't get the ball from him even with a tackle. In this episode, Messi knows that defender is coming after him, so he accelerates immediately to leave the defender behind and Messi does it perfectly. However, he couldn't do all of these things without this one important thing. With this method, in World Cup final, Messi did 90% of successful forward passes and 15 successful dribbles. This is a big number. And that method called scanning a pitch. There are steps how does he do that. So firstly, when a teammate passes a ball, Messi looks up and scans where are defenders and other teammates now. In the second step, he receives a ball 
and scan again the placement of the opponents and search for empty zones. Messi goes to there and pass forward or shoot the ball himself. So here it is, the science technique that Messi uses to be a best football player on the planet. The happy news is that you can practice some of these science meters in your game too. If you want to know how, let me know down in the comments and hope you enjoyed and learned something new. I'll see you next time.